Hello and welcome everyone to the third episode in the Parax Let's Learn Svelte series. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at props in Svelte. So, what are props? Imagining you've never written any form of library code, any UI framework code, you don't know what props are. What are they? Well, props or properties are a way for us to pass data from one component down to its children. Instead of explaining and explaining, I will just show you this. I open my explorer, go to my lips folder. I have this name component and it says my name is Dash. I go back to my page and I'll import that name component. Right. I save this. I'm already running my server already. I check my browser and it says my name is Dash. Well, let's imagine that we can only get the name from the page. So we are fetching data and the data is going to be here. Let's see, let's name is equals to Lawal Adibola Powers. Now, how do we get name? Yeah. This is where props or property comes in. So to declare a prop and spell it, we use the prop run. It's going to open my script tag here. Let's curly braces is equals to props. This is the props runs. And in here, I can state out the props that I want. I can see name. That is the prop that I'm expecting. And I can run that prop, I can run down the property name right here. So whatever is passed here as name will be rendered there as the name. So when I check right here, it says my name is empty. Just so we've not actually passed that prop. And that prop is required. So we have this red line on the component telling us that property name is missing in type curly braces but required in type component props. All it's saying is that we are expecting one property name and it's not being delivered. So I'll come here and I'm saying name is equals to name. And the shorthand version of this is just to use name in curly braces because of they are both the same name. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. So I'll save this and now I check the browser it says my name is Lawal at the bottom for us that's what I want to I can pass anything down to that name I can say my name is if a to save this and it will change my name is if a to and this could be as many as I want so I can have age as well and I'll say Right here, another H2, and I would say I am age in quality braces, yes, old. Save this, go back to my page components, and now you can see the red line um, comes back telling us that the property age is missing. Now I have another state here, or another variable. I just test my age and this time it's a number age is a number 20 and i can just pass that right here again using the shutdown method because it's the same name the same variable name age save that go to the browser and choose my name is if it's i am 20 years old and we can have as much properties as we want now what if we want a default value for example we want name to by default be something you want name by default to be Joshua I save this and I get rid of the name right here the property I'm passing name I'll just get rid of it so um, right now to this name component I'm not passing the name to it so you might be wondering why we are not seeing the red line because of name is required as it was last time but right now name isn't required anymore because of 
there's a default value for name. So if you don't pass anything to name, it's just going to use Joshua as default. If I save this, go back to the browser, it shows my name is Joshua. I am 20 years old. But the second, I add a new name of if it's to it's going to override the default and if it's to will be the name. I shake the browser one more time it says my name is ife tuburi and we can also do the same thing for age and every other property that we set so that's as easy as it gets when it comes to setting default values for your properties one other thing you can do is actually spread these values inside so if you add a bunch of them like you have 30 props so let's just imagine we have 30 props in our case we have just two so I got rid of this default, but in your head, imagine we had 30 pros and you don't want to start coming here, putting name is name, age is age, height is height, so is so, so is so. That's just a lot of work. One thing we can do is spread it. So I can come here and I will just say, let attributes is equals to name. Okay, let's not go with Ash, but let's go with profile. Profile his name is Lawal and age is 20. Now instead of going for name and age and if we can look, we could have basically like as much as possible 30 of this, 50 of this, 100 of this. <laughs> now I don't know what situation you place yourself in that requires you to have 100 properties bruh that's crazy but just imagine we are crazy numbers stating all of this making this code really ugly is not the best way to go we can basically just spread it so one quality braces inside here spread now this is how we spread in javascript three dots and then we'll put the objects and in our case it's profile now what it's going to be doing here is going to basically be structuring that profile that we spread inside so we're going to take the name from here and it's also going to take the age you have to be very very careful that what you're passing in here are what this name um component is expecting if we pass in something like height i just said 70 cm now don't mind my terrible spelling just take it as it is you see that height is not being um expected yes yeah, so it won't do anything with height and if for example we didn't have the name and it's expecting the name it's going to throw an error because the name is not given we have age we have height but we don't have name but just seeing it directly here because of you might not have info of where this is probably so let's imagine this was not in this file which was somewhere probably and you didn't know where it is and we now spread this and this is expecting the name but you didn't give it the name so you have to be just be very careful of what you're actually passing make sure it's exactly what is needed by this component that you are giving it but this is a very quick and easy way of just sending the props you can just basically pass them in directly like this save everything and let's check this out it says my name is lawa and i am 20 years old if i check yeah you can see that those are the properties that i placed in lawa and 20 get of the height so now right now it's just what is doing is the structuring properties so this is properties let me get rid of this both of this here and then the structuring all we need from this so first all the braces yeah. and we can get like name and yeah. <laughs> And get the name and the age basically but this is actually not valid code i'm just showing you describing what it's technically on the background doing but we must always describe a property or prop in quality braces we can actually do it like this so we've seen how we can spread properties or how can we catch properties so let's just revert this back to the previous way let's see we add age is equals to is a shorthand age and name if i was going to pass pretty much anything and 
I didn't know beforehand what I'm going to be passing to this property. What I can do is I can just catch. So I can just go spread all and catch. Catch. Now, catch is a reserved keyword. In JavaScript, you can actually use catch. So I'll just change it to catch as. Now we can catch them. And I can. Let me just go back so I can use those same. Yeah. I want to use the same template that I used. Exactly. Now I can just catch all like this. For the name, I'll just say catch all does name. And for the age, I'll do the same thing. I show the age. Save this. Also save this as well. Go to the browser, as you can see. My name is Evito Bore. I am 20 years old. It's basically what we are sending there as well. So this could come in handy if, for example, this was a button component that we created, a custom button component, and we wanted user to be able to add any button attributes like on, uh, on click, on press, on double click, all that stuff. You don't want to create an instance or a property for each and every one of that. So you don't know which ones they're actually going to use. So you can just catch whatever they use and spread it in the button um, tag. So let me give a quick example that I just did it there. I said button. Click me. And yeah, I'll basically get this. And I'll spread it here as well. Catch up. And I'll just rename this name spelled to button. Because then it makes sense. Now go back to the page. Get rid of this. Get rid of this as well. You want to import the button component. Save this. We should see right here a button. Click me. And I want when this button is clicked. You can see that we're actually putting this on click directly on the button by putting it right here. So when this button is clicked, log out something. So we can see it should log out. I got clicked. And this is one of the coolest things that we can do in Svelte 5. And then we're doing a lot of those crazy dispatch event listeners and all of that stuff. You can easily just do this. And if I check in my console, hopefully this works. All right, let's see. I can click here, and as you can see, I got clicked. It's locked out. Very easy. It was very simple. Let's revert back to our former name component, and let's change that button as well to name, and add the last templates we had. For this example, I want to show you how we can actually make these props or properties bindable. If I had an input at the top of this component right here, and this was bound to this bind value to the name, and this name was a state room. I will log out the name directly here. That will be above the input, and the one below the input will be coming from the nested components let's check the browser and see what we get now we have this input component right here or this input element with our name because of his band the value of if it were the name now if i change this value to lawal you can see that it changes in the um page component the one that we're rendering right here and it also changes on the name component which is the one that we are rendering right here the ball it changes right but what if the input was going to be inside this component this works properly but if this input was going to be inside this component right here inside the name components let's try it out let me save this one as well so i can change the input now to lawal 
as you can see it changes in the components correct but it doesn't change in the print components and the reason why it doesn't change is because it's not bind to the print components and the, how we can do it in felt 5 is by just going to this name component going to the name property saying equals to bindable you just have to give it the bindable runs now it's bindable you can go back to the page and we can bind to name is a bind name like this now if i change name to lawal it doesn't only changes in the um, name component it also changes in the print components and it would also change in every other instance that is being used by this property so that's how we can bind to props they are not by default enabled if you want to bind you need to use this bindable uh, runs and if you want to set a default value for this remember if we wanted to set the default value we would have to do something like this and then we'll put a name but now that we have this bind here we'll have to put it inside this parenthesis right here so this will be the default value now and i can change this to a d bola that must be my own name right anymore but yeah that's basically it for props i can keep going and showing you cool things you can do with them but we end up having a one hour video just based on props and felt so if you guys enjoyed this video let me know by liking it and subscribing let me know if you have any question in the comment section i'm always there to answer you guys know me and in the next video we're going to be taking a look at logic and spelt make sure you subscribe again subscribe 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 i can i can keep saying this on every video just gonna know what to do if you enjoy the content subscribe if you don't then well it's up to you but i'll see you guys in the next one i love you all have a good day